Look at this. On me noggin. On me noggin. Don't use your word. Everybody starts crying. Hot wet wipes. Oh, Latte. Oh, Latte. Anyway, <laughs> this is unbelievably fun. The Fido Titan. Lecky bike. Bit of electric. It absolutely flies, honestly. I get why people get them now. There's always a bit. Bit skeptical. But it's got uh, four piston calipers. Disc brakes, hydraulic. Light at the front. Light at the back. It's got a brake light on it. It's got a shove down in there. Nine speed conventional gears, if you know what I mean, with rapid fire shifters. I've actually put a speedo on there. We'll see what we can get it to. Hang on, let's just tap the screen. We'll see what we can get it to. Still a bit snotty, but we'll crack on. Should be a laugh, this. Wheelies, hopefully wheelies. Promised you that. This could be fun. See you in a bit. Well, first issue, my problem really, or my fonts. Probably see the wire there hanging out. I mounted the camera on and it's pulled the wire out for the headlight. It's only a clipping job, but I don't need them this morning, so we'll uh, we'll live without that. Yeah, I do sort of get it. It's effortless, it really is. So let me swap hands. So on that side, you can lock the forks out so they're solid, so you're not bibbing and bobbing about. That side has got rebound and compression damping, so you can uh, set that up for your needs. I'm just in normal at the moment. We're doing six mile an hour, and I'm basically hardly pressing on the pedal, honestly. So just with the motor on its own, it does 15 mile an hour or 15.6 mile an hour. I've just come from the road near us, not even trying, and had 32 out of it. That's with obviously we assisting the pedals. That was into the wind and not really maxing it. Over 30. Could have overtook cars. Anyway, let's try and just leave it in normal. Uh, let's get a couple of high gears. GoPros always flatten hills. Trust me, this is a hill. <laughs> I'm only in normal mode. Not even in a high gear and just gliding up it. Ridiculous. I say, understand it now. Now it's a Sunday morning, so you can imagine round here. That's the dream. You can imagine around here, it's chock a block with walkers, dog walkers and that. I'm struggling to find a bit of a straight. I'm going to follow it around that way in a minute. And there is a steep hill on that side and on the conventional mountain bikes that me a fair ride. It's usually a granny gear job to get up. So I'll put in a high one and uh, we see how this copes. Look I've ever rode that hill and not been out of breath ever. <laughs> Loving it. Loving it. So we're in normal mode at the moment. There's plenty. It's... I used to call everyone for having these. All my mates from mountain bike clubs and that, they've all, they've all got these now, just for training. Well, not training, you know, just for pleasure. And I sort of get it, you can go miles, so you... Sorry, sniffling a bit. So you can go miles now, you can go a proper good ride and do it just for enjoyment, you know, not for fitness. Clearly not for fitness. But I was going to gun it down here, but as you can see, every time I've come down, there's been walkers. But I'm going to wait for a clear part and then uh, we'll, we'll gun it and see what we get to. So 
So obviously, GoPros, flatten hills, I can even see it through the screen. But trust me, that's a proper hill there. It's, I know it looks nothing on there, I'm looking at it at myself. Uh, me and Fag up this all the time, it's usually granny gear at front, so maybe a bit middle cog, but definitely the big cog at the back. So on this one, we're going to go... Two rings from the big one. We'll change that. We'll go to sport. Go for sports. I'm going to try and leave it in that big cog. And we'll see if we can get up there or see how easily it gets up there. Like I said, I'm struggling. I'll just uh, click another cog or we'll go for sport plus or turbo. We'll go for turbo. But standing start as well. Ridiculous this. <laughs> Not even trying. Six mile an hour going up the hill. Put a little to no pressure on the pedals really. And I'm gonna try that again in a bit in Turbo Plus on the big ring. Big ring. Bit of off-roading. Obviously with these fat boy tires. Just glides on, on grass, you don't even feel it. Plugged us back in. <laughs> Maybe not. Put a bell on it. Well, folks, as for wheelies, it wheelies a bit too easy, to be honest. Uh, oh, hang on, lights on. Let's turn lights off. Need to even know I touched it. Yeah. Oh, well, you've seen me on thingy on uh, Facebook or... I think it was another video we did once uh, on the conventional mountain bikes. I've done it for years and pretty decent at wheeling on that. It's not showing off, and it's just, it's just what I do. Still dick about like a kid. I uh, can wheelie for miles on a mountain bike. This completely different. As soon as it gets up, the power kit, you know, the assisted power kicks in a bit. It's got a really heavy at the front. You've got to give it a third old tug, get the fronts up. Uh, and then the power kicks in, it, it tries flips, so you have to dab back brake. And it seems to slam it back down, so I'm still working on that. But that's not the main issue. I could have probably worked around it. I'm going to have to go home and do a bit of a tidy up job. The seat post is full of grease. So even with the clamp as tight as it'll go, hang on, let's put that there, see if you can see. So even with the clamp as tight as it'll go, you can still move the seat. So obviously when you're wheeling, you sort of lean against the seat for a bit of control. That just moves and the front wheel comes down and the seat starts dropping. So you just need to take the grease off it, wind the little, uh, little there you can see that's even moved, it was straight before that. Wind that up a bit and then it'll, it'll clamp it tight. Uh, one of those things, teething teething issues but the bike itself it's unreal loving it I didn't realise they'd be this quick Turbo plus forks. <laughs> That's literally not touching pedals, that. When he says maximum assistance, he's basically doing everything and you're just helping it, you're helping it. But we've been using this now for three days, on and off, just messing about. Still got a full battery. Oh shit, need three GoPro away then. But I'm in top cog at that now, what did you see? Obviously the uh, smallest ring on the back is the hardest to pedal. And like, it's a bit like motorbikes. 
a bit like motorbikes but the other way around uh well not exactly the same way around sorry the biggest biggest tooth on the back on a motorbike makes it more acceleration easier wheeler same on the uh, mountain bikes but i'm in a uh, keep catching me out there i'm in the smallest ring and literally just just nudging the pedals As you can see, there's people everywhere. Got, got me little light trainers on, I'm getting soaking. Once you ease off the pedals, it still carries on for a bit. But overly impressed. So I'm gonna do we'll take it home now. Take that seat post, I'll get all grease off it and set it up because Faye wants to go. Faye's desperate to get out on it. Look, look at that, honestly. So we're doing what? We're in top cost, which should be really, really hard to pedal. Just the slightest press. <laughs> So where I am now, this is right to our, our back door. It's great to come over here, we used to come over here, we used to come over here, as I said. Got myself lost then, I was going to say, we used to come over here with dog. Or we used to come over here with dog, with auntie dog. Well, rest in peace, little boys up there somewhere now. Hey, let's get this home. Oh God, I still got the sniffles. fair has got it now as well. fair has got the lurg. It's good on this though, so you can stop in the top cog at the back and still get away. So from what I can see, probably cruises about 22, 23 mile an hour. That's just in sport mode, not turbo or turbo plus, just in sport mode pedaling, you know, just quite steady like. So now I do get why people use these for work. We've got a few lads at work, come on these. Uh, see why now, effortless. We've got a tiny bit of downhill, it was a downhill. Oh, a bit of a slope. We're whacking in turbo plus. I'll get the pedals on and we'll see what we can do here. Let's we'll see what we can do. So first off, let's tunnel to some Turbo Plus. Turbo Plus. I mean, this will ring it back. Uh, once I get steady, I can't get that somewhere. Uh, once I get steady, I'll whip that off and I'll show you. Show you what the crack is. This is what I was saying. We stayed at 17 mile an hour, so start stop pedaling right up there. And it's only dropping a bit. But this now, at this speed now, 17 mile an hour. <laughs> I mean turbo plus. And I'm barely touching pedals. Burly. You could do this all day, no drama. Some road cyclists here, turn around and race them. You know what? Words on YouTube would have probably gone back and chased them. <laughs> oh, he's such a child. Such a child. To be honest, I could have probably got 35 and I put both hands on bars, stood up and give it a bit of the 
a bit of the horsepower. Could have probably got 35 then. I will do that. I'm gonna mount, I'm gonna have to come out like a bit of a nomad. I'll put my water bike helmet on so I can mount the camera on my chin. Talk to you. And we'll see if we get 35 out of this. Could even get 40 down here, couldn't we? To be honest, about 30 odd out at a conventional bike, but you know you're doing it on this. So this speed now, uh, 20 mile an hour. You could ride to work at this speed and you get there fresh. I usually put it up at curbs and stuff like that. You get the front wheel up, but you can hop the back wheel, but it's uh, it takes some effort here. So yeah, you get it up the curb, bit of a bit of coaxing, you get it up, so to speak. Getting there. By the end of the week, I'll have this up. Be right. It's better in a lower power mode, so we just don't run away with you. Anyway, let's get this one all. A lot checking out here, aren't we? So, thanks for watching this, folks. As you can see, not usually have a cup of tea, but we're always out on multi bikes, so when it got offered, it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? To be honest, they do a full do here one which in the real world would have been better for us. A couple of them, either in the storage of a camper or on the back, would have been great for us that. But we'll sort something out, so until the next one, on our Humper camper van, still riding motorbikes, still can't see. See you later. Ta-da, folks.